taken the Isle of Palms kayak tour, the sunset tour, which means this shot's probably not very good. I took two tours with Coastal Expeditions at Isle of Palms. The first was the sunset tour, which I just looked on their website. Uh, they didn't seem to be offering that anymore, uh, but they do have a sunrise tour right now. So maybe check their website for that. But it was beautiful. You got to see the marsh grass, the marsh grass, and the beautiful low country of South Carolina. Sweet. Should I just be in action? Yes, be in action. Look handsome. <laughs> All right, that's a little bit difficult. <laughs> I mean, you can see everything. You can see the mainland. You can see all those birds flying there. But you can really see how expansive this salt marsh habitat is. Very essential in dampening. It kind of acts like a sponge to that. So I've got some little samples here <laughs> of, you know, the nice delicacy of the island and you don't have I'm with Coastal Expeditions today and Cody on the Wamba River in Francis Macon, Francis Marion, thank you, Cody, Park. And we're gonna paddle for 50 hours straight and wrestle 10 alligators. That's the plan. The second tour with Coastal Expeditions was a tidal blackwater creek. Ooh, it doesn't that sound exciting in Francis Marion National Forest. For all you history buffs, Francis Marion was the swamp fox in the Revolutionary War and considered by some one of the grandfathers of guerrilla warfare. This is my favorite tree of the day. That's a pretty good tree. That's a pretty good tree. Cypress trunk, and as the tide came in, it pushed in and flooded the field. So if you, you measure from their eyes to their snow, how many inches that is, is usually the foot of that alligator. Oh, he's curious. Yeah. He's yeah. Tour was about five to six hours, and it was fantastic. We saw many beautiful trees. 